Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone. Before we start this video, I'd like to ask you guys to support the channel. And if you value the content that I provide, please do subscribe because this really helps me a lot. Going back to what I was about to talk about, again, we're going to be uh, going over fast progress. Now is the third day already, and um, I'm already at 40. So again, depending on when you started, how much have been you have you been doing, and what have you been doing is going to determine your progress in the game. Okay, and also the amount of time that you invest in the game as well. So, with all that said, I'd like to um, discuss with you a couple of tips. Um, there are around 10 that uh, will help you in progressing fast. Uh, they might not be enough, but again, these I think will help you along the way. It's be It's only been, what? two or three days so again you are not far behind I, I i tell you okay so number one is if you clear more stages in the story you get more experience if you can't clear more stages in the story because sometimes the story here the main story um you can't clear because you lack dps or you lack the proper personnel so you can get more experience through experience that i mean is actually account experience every time you go to the story you get account experience which raises your cap for your characters as well so again going back to the account experience if the story is not enough please go through operation because operation also gives you account experience that's number one Okay, sorry for the blunder. Number two, um, be aware of tasks for account experience. Like for example, um, here, the daily tasks actually give you, if I can recall, this gives you account experience, this one. So make sure that you complete your daily tasks. Make sure that you at least follow up or look through on what you should do. Also, other account milestones are important because they give you a lot of rewards. So again, these build up to you basically um, getting to your goal. Like for example, for, for, for this one is called Supernova. We are building up to this rifle, which your sniper can use. So again, if you don't open these milestones, if you don't, if you're not aware of your tasks, definitely these will slow you down so again they, they placed it in places where in it's really really cluttered i hope that they could rearrange the ui and not this one not this one but this one you also have events here so again events give you a lot guys we have events i have I haven't done this yet the trial sorry so again one of the things that i should do so go through all of these rewards because these rewards will help you also please log in every day because again if you miss a day you will be delayed in reaching some of these milestones or rewards so that is number two on my progress suggestions okay next up is just a simple equation account experience which is this one your level 40 equals your cap for your characters so right now i can level up my guys let's say i level her up kaguya so your your account level equals your character cap level also equals your if you go back your skills are also locked by your account level so this the third neuronic is going to be unlocked after you reach level 40 in your account so take note that if you don't <laughs> unlock your account everything will be slow your character your upgrades again everything will have a problem 
And that is number three. Number four is character level equals stats, but do not go over your, uh, do not go near the account level. I'll show you what I mean. So let's say, for example, I'm going to level up Yao. So Yao is, this is your character level. You level up near the max. Let's say I'm going to be upgrading Yao to 37. You could upgrade up to 39 or 38. But do not fully upgrade because you'll also be earning character experience in the missions in the story. Okay, so do, do not, do not, because again, you'll be wasting these and uh, there is surplus, sur I, I could actually max them out, but again, there is surplus, um, what do you call this? There is surplus uh, experience when you play the content, stories, missions, so that's it. Okay, upgrade only purple and orange rarity weapons, okay. Again, what I'm using right now is actually... Let's go to my weapons. So if you're not familiar, you have your purple rarity. You have your orange rarity. You can check them out here. This is also purple. Also purple. Blue. Purple. Okay. Only upgrade those in purple and, and orange. Again, blues, no. Please do not upgrade them extensively because, again, as I've said, even purple weapons have can get purple weapons without even going through the banner because of this one. This is the third one that we have. So, again, you'll have a lot of choices for your weapons. Third one can fill your core squad with purple weapons. That's it. So upgrade, you actually can upgrade them up until you can replace them with your orange ones. Okay, so that is number five for your weapons. Okay, number six is, I'm already here. That's for your weapons, right? So don't upgrade. Next up is logistics. So make sure that your logistics are all set. Purple ones are already good to start. Okay, so what I mean is if you go to your logistics, of course, there is there are blue rarities here. You might equip blue rarities, but eventually you'll be using more on the purple rarities while you're farming for the orange rarities. So you can actually level up your purple rarities as well. They're very good in terms of additional stats um, and additional buffs. So again, go ahead, um, upgrade your upgrade your purple ones, and they will really carry you through out probably up, up until the mid game, up until the end game if you don't have enough um, orange rarity. So again, purple ones are already good to upgrade. So next up is manifestation i won't go through because these are just copies of your existing character so we'll go through neuronics so again for number seven prioritize neuronics what i mean about prioritizing is make sure that you upgrade depending on what you need on what on what role that character is doing like for example for life she is my primary and I'm prioritizing Frost Wolves, the one that has a lot of going around the white one. So she's my main. I'm prioritizing Frost Wolves while my sub or my support is actually uh, Kaguya. So I'm prioritizing the Kagan Moon Dart because I use it frequently with life when um, both of the wolf and the moon halo those are really one of my go-to skills so i'm prioritizing this one so again please read what you are leveling up especially for neuronics because you might be leveling up something that you don't need but by the way you can actually reset it if you do make a mistake but again uh i think this is limited this is not going to be forever so uh, make sure that you upgrade 
what you need at that point, what you pri want to prioritize. So, number eight. Let's go back. It's already gone. Actually, the beginner banner, you have to prioritize summoning for that banner. You don't go immediately to this banner. I know this is a rate up for more purple, uh, for more orange ones. But the beginner banner, which I already finished, which is up here, which you all know where it is, is going to provide you with your first orange uh, S tier. For free to play, this is very doable. So basically, the game is telling us that we're guaranteed two, two orange tier. One is for the selector, one is for the beginner banner. The beginner banner, you'll have enough currency to finish it with at least one orange tier. Okay, so that's number eight. Also, for the selector banner, the selector is actually here. It's no longer here. The selector is also in the events. You can actually finish the selector in 5-12. 5-12 meaning for the main story. Okay, so 5-12 is here. Once you finish 5-12, then you can get the selector. You can finish the 5-12 with a minimum of level 25 for your team, for your account, for your team. Plus, you do all the upgrades that is necessary. So again, please do this. Both of these, number eight, the beginner banner and the selector ticket, you'll have two orange tiers. Then you're set to go. Life will be a bit easier, actually, if you have two orange um, tiers, even though um, one is random, one is a selector. But again, those are unlikely gifts that... Uh, you should be thankful about so those are eight and nine okay so what else did i miss okay um also guys last tip i just want to make sure that you know what the game is about so this is a third person shooter practice with your core team the only way that you will be get better at this game is identifying your core team practice their skills practice their movements practice their combos some complement each other so try to mix and match with your team on how comfortable you are with them and how effective you are with them so practice with your core team skill don't forget as well to map out your buttons. I already mentioned this in my previous videos for beginner mistakes. So map out your buttons. I'm just going to be repeating this one. So for keyboard, I'm using um, I'm using a PC. So map out to what you're comfortable with. So even the reload, it's already different for me. It's in the center wheel for the mouse. And also, the standard skill is also in the center wheel. So I've changed towards my comfort level, towards my efficiency. Uh, standard skill is, is movement of the wheel forward, and reload is movement of the wheel backward. So you might find it very useful. So that is actually a very nice tip to, ha to have. So again, learn your skills in combo learn what your skills can do the limitations of your skills and you'll be fine okay so i think i blabbered enough um, details here these are 10 tips that can help you in your fast progress so that is it guys um character level yeah that's it so if you have any more comments and suggestions on fast progression, please do comment down. And I wouldn't mind you guys supporting the channel. Um, please subscribe because this will help me a lot. This will, you know, in the next couple of months, weeks, days, as I cover this game, this will, your support is really, really much appreciated. And thank you for, so far for those who supported the channel since I started turning nearly three years and um, I'm still growing, I'm still learning. So please be patient with me. So thank you very much, guys, for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. It's the Warden and I'm out of here.